Hi, welcome to Shelf Control. I'm Norm. I'm Lisa. And today we thought we would do the top 10 list of the games we've already reviewed on the channel. So what made the cut? So uh, this is not a top 10 of every game we've played, but we thought it might be interesting to take, uh, we've got roughly 22 games that we've uh, that we've reviewed on the channel so far, and we thought it'd be kind of interesting to see out of those 22, which, which, which out of the top 10, and as we review more games, maybe when we hit uh, 40 or something, we'll, we'll do the top 10 list again and see how the list changes over time as more and more games get, get played. Uh, this landscape's changing all the time. So these are all the games that we are going to, well, potentially rate. Um, there are some games that we have done reviews on that are not here because we didn't, or we did show shelf control on those, and we no longer have those games. Um, but those, of course, won't be in our top ten. Yeah, so it looks like uh, there's one, two, three, four, there's five, five games that we've reviewed that aren't here on the table. So uh, I totally lost count. It was like 15 or 16. I think maybe 16 on this table. Yep. And so uh, not all of these are on our top 10, but maybe they're all on our combined. Right. Maybe they're on tens. yours, but not mine, or so, vice versa. Uh, so I think I think we should get into it. Uh, uh, just disclaimer: uh, I would not do the uh, the drinking game where you take a drink every time there's a crossover because with 16 games, there's bound to be a bunch of crossovers, and we don't want to be responsible for anyone's ill health. But we are just drinking coffee. So, starting with number 10. Release number 10. You want to go first? I can. My number 10 is Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars. I expect it to be higher on your list. It's upside down, dear. It is upside down, dear. But it is my number 10. So, all right, let's move some stuff out of the way. All right. Uh, this is one that I didn't have, I didn't record what your rating was when you went over it. I enjoy the game a lot. It's just heavy. So I have to be in the right frame of mind to play it. It does take a long time. I do enjoy it but I have the app version of it that I would prefer to play over the board game. Now, and I say that, but there are times you really just want to play the board game. So I enjoy the game, but it, it's an investment for me. Yeah, we'll usually introduce this to people with the board game, and then they'll end up buying the app. And, uh, and then we it, can play with them when they're not here. And if it's just me and Lisa deciding to play it, we'll play with the app because it's easy to set up. We don't have to bust everything out. Well, there's a lot of cards. so And a lot of cards give you actions. So that gets a little overwhelming for me to keep up with every card that can do something. Or, you know, there's a card that will allow you to buy other cards cheaper. And so just to keep up with everything is, is a little hard for me. I'll forget certain bonuses that I have. And so the app does all of that for you. So I'm taking the lazy man's way out. Um, so I'd prefer to play the app. And I'll, I'll talk more about this in the, the future. So you'll, you'll see it again. So it is in his top 10. So yes. All right, what's your 10? So my number 10 is Amsterdam. Amsterdam. This was uh, the this, this city collection from Stefan Feld. Number two. And this is the, uh, the redo of uh, Macau. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we have that game. We haven't done a review on just Macau. But uh, <clears throat> this, this is the, the upgrade. This is one of the, the four from the original. This is city collection number two. And we're... Uh, so when we decided to keep, I actually had this one rated a 9 out of 10. What did I have? Do you know? Yes. Is this one showing up? I don't know. We'll talk about it. We, we may, we may come back to it. We may come back to it. Number 9. Number 9. Number 9. I'm here. You don't need to go far. Ticket to ride. And we're just going with the OG version. 
Right. Um, so Ticket to Ride is one of my favorite games. I will never get tired of playing it. Um, I will always be up for it if someone suggests it. So um, it's one we play with his parents regularly. I just like Ticket to Ride. Yeah, something interesting on my list. This came in at number 11. <gasps> it's not on your top it 10. It is not in my top well. 10. But what's interesting is I rated it a 10 out of 10. And there's a couple games that I didn't rate 10 out of 10 so that are uh, above this. Interesting. But... I kind of like went through my list with, uh, we used the, the pub meeple where you can give it a list of games and it gives you two choices. And I went through as what would I rather play right now between, right. between those two. Right. And so while Take It to Ride is an excellent 10 out of 10 game, if, if Lisa was to say, hey, do you want to play this game or that game? I would probably pick that game above Take It to Ride. So it, it's week 10 to 11. I'll give it an honorable mention. How generous of you. So, your number nine. My number nine surprised me that it was so low. And it is the Castles of Burgundy. Castles of Burgundy came in at number nine for me. And this was uh, one I'd given a, a 10 out of 10 for. <laughs> and I, I, I still really like this game. But, again... Or for wanting to play, I think at the moment for me, I'm leaning towards the more medium to heavyweight games mm. and what I would like to play. And so that's why uh, Castles of Burgundy only came in at a, a nine for me. Okay. Eight. Eight. Wow. Castles of Burgundy came wow. in number eight for me. This is one of my. Um, Norm introduced me to this game pretty early on in my gaming experience, and then we went a long time without playing it. I do enjoy playing it a lot. Um, he got me some pink components to play with it, and so I enjoy, of course, enjoy that, but it is a good, good game. But I, I agree with Norm. Right now I'm into more um, just different games. Not necessarily mm -hmm. heavier, but just different games. There's another game that's very similar to that that may come up later um, that that I enjoy playing right now more. So sh stop giving it away. What? I was what? Just... <clears throat> so Castles of Burgundy is my number eight. Number eight. My number eight is Wingspan. Wingspan eight? Wingspan is at an eight. So, and this is this is one that, that it's kind of weird. I might have to... Uh, I might have to fix my rating on this because I gave this an 8 out of 10. No. But it's it's one that, when it came up on the list, would you rather play this or this? Wingspan came up quite often and, and won out. And so uh, this includes the expansions and the Asia expansion, which uh, improves the game for two players as mm -hmm. well. So uh, I'm, I'm including all the Wingspan together. If it was the base set of Wingspan, it probably wouldn't be my number eight. Right. But with everything, it's my number eight. Absolutely. All right. Seven? Seven. For seven. All right, we're going, we're going deep. Lost Ruins of Arnak. Lost Ruins of Arnak. Uh, is my number seven. Number seven. So when we first got this game, we played it, played it, played it, played it, played it. And I think I burned out a little bit on this game. So I am reluctant to play it again for right now. So this was, um, we introduced some family to this game. They wanted to play it over and over and over again. So I think I just kind of burned out. It's still a great game. It's still in my top 10 but I am good not playing it again for a while. We've gotten an expansion for it that we haven't played yet because I'm just not ready to jump back in. We, we've gotten both the expansions mm. for this, and we've played, uh, I think we played one game with the, with the, mm -hmm. the, the new, new people, and we got the, the expansion that has the uh, solo or two-player co-op campaign right. in it, and so I'm really itching to play this with, with those. This may show up later. <clears throat> because I'm itching to play this. I just need some time. I just need some time. So that was seven? It, it is. It's a phenomenal game. 
My seven is right here. Calico. calico. So Calico, we just did a review on this, so you know how we feel about this. I'm actually leaning towards a, a 10 on this, but uh, officially I gave it a nine. Uh, it may show up later on Lisa's because she, she gave it a, a higher grade than I did. She has flawless taste. She's famous for it. It's not in my top 10. Calico is not in your top 10. <laughs> Not in my you top gave 10. This a 10. Yeah, out of well, 10. you gave you gave Ticket to Ride a 10. It's not in your top so, 10. So that's 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 true. That's true. So, so, so Calico for for the game, it's a great game. But there's some other games on this table that I would choose to play over it. Interesting. So that was seven. That was seven. Six. Number six. Mm, number number six. six is Amsterdam for me. Oh, Amsterdam, nice. Yep. Amsterdam's back. Well, let's go ahead with the let's other do the, side. The, the nighttime the, version. The nighttime. So what did version. I rank this one? Uh, Amsterdam, did, did you, you get a, you gave this an eight. Okay. Or I'd given it a nine. Okay. Okay. And I'm still working out the whole rating system for me. So I think I'll just, I'll improve on that with, with my rating skills as, as the channel goes on. But Amsterdam is, is Macau, is that correct? Yes. Okay. I really like it. So um, we haven't done a review of Macau, so I'll have to save some thoughts for that. Um, but I, I do like Amsterdam. It is my six. My number six. My number six is Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem. So this... My, my prediction when we did the Carpe Diem review, where I said I would rather play Carpe Diem than Castles of Burgundy right now, came true. Because it is uh, three steps higher than, uh, than Castles of Burgundy right now. Just the, There's just something about the, the possibility of you build half a house and you're not getting the other half that, that I really, mm. I really so like about this one over Castles of Burgundy. That's my number six, Carpe Diem. So we're halfway there. All right. Halfway nine, point. Five. My number five. Come on, come on number five. Um, where'd it go? Oh, Wingspan. Wingspan, okay. So again, um, including all the expansions, the, the Wingspan Asia is probably my favorite of them because it introduces that two-player mechanic, which we play it that way instead of the original game. But I love all the birds. The board is so colorful. It's it's creative in how they did the game and set it up. So it is my number five. Five. My number five. My number five is Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars. So this this one surprised me that it that it wasn't it wasn't higher. Yeah, that surprises me too for you. But I think it I think part of it is how often we we play this, and so if given the choice between this and something newer that we haven't got a lot of plays in, I I probably go towards the newer game. But still, this this game this game is I gave it a ten and I, I stick by that. This it's a good game. A ten out of ten game. It's a good game. And if you don't have the app, get get the app. It it works. Wonderfully. It works really really well. Okay, number we're on number four. four. You're number four. My number four is Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem number four. So again, like Norm said, um, it's so similar to Castles of Burgundy that right now this is our choice over Castles of Burgundy, even though um, for the longest time Castles of Burgundy was one of my favorite games. Um, and apparent, and it, of course it's still up there because it's in my top ten, but I am going with Carpe Diem um, right now. Yeah, so that was what? Four. The four. My number four is Great Western Trail. Mm. And so this is another one that, uh, you know, I gave this a nine out of ten in the review. And it's ahead of a few of the ten out of tens that I gave. But again, I think it's, it's, it's one of those things that can just change day to day. I, I really, I really like this game, even though I gave it the nine out of ten. There's, there's just something about that, 
that hand management in this that, that I really like and I'm willing to try again and again. Uh, we have the New Zealand and Argentina versions of this that we'll, uh, that we'll give a review for in the future when we get some more plays of that. So, as it stands, number four, Great Western Trail. All right, so on to number three. Three. Number three. Wow. Great Western Trail. It's pretty close. So, again, it's... I'm going to drink on that. <laughs> we played this game originally, and neither one of us were, were totally sold on it, if you saw our review. Um, and then we kind of put it away for a while, played a few other games, um, played... Beast for Odin? No. What's the <laughs> one that... It's just like this. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Maracaibo. Maracaibo. So we played Maracaibo, and then we were like, hmm, let's try Great Western Trail again. And we loved it. And from then on, we will um, go through phases of playing it, and then we'll put it away for a little bit. It always tends to come back up quickly. So it is a game we, we enjoy playing very, very much. So my number three. Number three. Uh, so my number three. My number three is Ark Nova. Over there Nova. In the so, and, and looking looking at it, this all the ones up here at the top can fluctuate so much. <laughs> yeah. But Arc Nova has, has been so much fun every time I brought it to the table. We have the, the expansion with the uh, uh, aquariums, aquariums yeah. that, that uh, we've, we've played once. Uh, three player would love to get some more plays of this in with that I don't know, we'll do a video shortly talking about about that edition but yeah number three for me is Ark Nova interesting so we're going to number two number two all right okay, let me let me let me guess oh my goodness oh my goodness number two for you I'm going to say Arc Nova. Arc Nova. Wow. I'm drinking. <laughs> My number two, Arc Nova. I have always loved the game um, from the very beginning. Just building the zoo, animals, of course. Um, and then the aquarium added just that little bit of extra that was a perfect addition to the game. So um, Arc Nova, number two. And it could... It could mm, I can't say it would easily fall into number one, but it it's definitely up there of course it is it's number two all right my number two you, uh, uh, you want to give it a i don't know i think i know your number one what else is you wouldn't have quacks as your number two nope i don't know oh you haven't done lost ruins of arnak i haven't done lost ruins of arnak Lost Ruins of Arnak is my number two, <laughs> and it may be because I have those uh, those expansions that I really want to get to. But I, if you saw a review of Lost Ruins of Arnak, it it is the best game that I've experienced. Where you're sitting there and you're like, I need this, and the solution is out there. I just need to be able to find the right combination to get it to work. And what's interesting on this is that no matter how many people are playing this game, everybody wants to help find that solution. So, I mean, you're all trying to win the game, but if I know what he needs, I mean, everyone jumps in and says, wait a minute, if you do this, then this, then this, everyone's helping each other figure out that puzzle. Yeah, finding the answers to that, that puzzle is so interesting. Yeah. Like I, like I mentioned in our review, you can be like, okay, I, I have the arrowhead I need, but if I use that arrowhead here, I can get these two things and then use that there for this, and then you end up accomplishing something else and getting that arrowhead back. You know, there's just so many things where it's like, okay, I, I can jump on the obvious thing. But wait a minute. But can I just squeeze a little bit more out? And this game does that better yes. than than any of these others on the on the yeah. table. And that is the part of that game that I like the that's most. That's why this is this is my number two. 
Number one. Number one. Numero uno. I mean, I think it's pretty clear. Um, I mean, I think we can. I, I, I think, we can I drink. Think so yeah, let me uh, let me just set some stuff oh, okay. down because okay. I'm not picking this up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just move some stuff out of the way. In case just... there's any uh, any thought yet on what we're doing or where <sighs> we're going. Slide this guy over. It's Zombicide. It's not Zombicide. It's not, it's not Zombicide. Okay. At all. So, I'll just slide this back. No, I need mean, this. This, this is my guess. It better be right because we just went through all that work. All right, put that over there. <laughs> so, as we rearrange. So, so we're going to. Hopefully. We're going to drink to that. All right, so I was right. Gloomhaven's Bloom number one. Haven's number one. And why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? It's so much fun. I mean, there's nothing to say but perfection. And part of this, it's it's my it's my number one. It's my number one. I mean, it's that that this wouldn't be on my top ten is just un unheard of. <laughs> so there's just this also takes into account that we're we're playing through Frosthaven right now. And well, we're on a little hiatus the, the, the from Frosthaven right now. I think. Yeah, with, with her recovering from, from knee surgery, she hasn't been sitting at the table for long periods of time. So we've, we've kind of put that on, on hiatus. But the, the game plays the exact same. And if somebody was like, hey, if you want, if you want to sit down and do a scenario of Gloomhaven, I'd be like, absolutely, I want to do that. It's, I could do a scenario here or there. I am not ready to start over with a new campaign and to go through the game again. I, I don't think that I am. We've already done this, this campaign through two plus times. Like two point whatever, because we got halfway through some and partway through. And he's probably time. started three or four times and stopped. And and I'm, I'm playing this uh, online with my, my friends through uh, through Steam. We, we each have a copy, so we're... we're we're playing through there, and I'd even sit down and, and play solo through the the guild master version. This 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 puzzle, it's just so nice, and it doesn't. It's got this euroy puzzly feel to it that doesn't take away from the hack and slash dungeon feel of it. It mm -hmm. it just merges those together so so good. Uh, a dungeon crawl where you're not throwing dice. Yeah, please. I love it. <laughs> and our son gifted me with a copy of it online as well. So um, if the three of us have nothing to do one evening, we'll all kind of touch base and say, hey, you want to get online? And we will. And that kind of saves him from having to come out here. It's something she can play while she has her knee up. And, uh, and we all can play regardless of where we are. Yep. So anyways... Our top 10. That is the top 10 of the games we've reviewed so far. So out of curiosity, what was your bottom? Well, I was actually pleasantly surprised because my lowest four are games that we don't have anymore. We yeah. got rid of them. Yeah. So, but... Nope, not mine. Oh, you got, you got something lower that we, that we kept? Yep. Which one was that? Well, my very bottom one was Sentinels of the Multiverse. Same. And then Hamburg. Same. And then Ares Expedition. Same. Okay. And then above that was um, Zombicide. Oh, okay. I actually have Monte Coro. Yeah, Monte Coro's right above Zombicide. And I actually have Zombicide ahead of Cascadia. I do not. Cascadia was... Cascadia was my number 12. Quacks of Quidlinburg was 11. Cascadia was 12. So, but actually, like, when I did this through Pub Meeple, Zombicide actually came out higher. I don't know that it made it into the top 10, but it was definitely higher on the list than uh, the 16 where, where I have it. But I think part of that is because I'm, I'm excited to start doing the painting mm. of, of the figures. If you've seen our past videos... Uh, start review of, of Zombicide. I'm I'm gonna try doing the, the speed paint technique with that. And uh, I haven't painted figures in years, and I was never really good at it at all. So uh, I'm I'm planning on making some videos of me doing that. And I think my excitement over painting them 
bumped it up a little bit, so I actually <laughs> physically dropped it down under some some games. I was like, no, realistically, I'll play these games first. So that was that was a surprise. At number 13, I had Arkham Horror the Card Game, which is, uh, if you saw a review, is a game that we got rid of. But that's more because of the time and money commitment. Uh, we both gave that a 9 out of 10. Yeah. It was an 18 for me. So, wow. Yeah, so uh, that's actually higher than 1, 2, 3. That's, that's higher than 4 games that, that we kept. But if you saw a review, we really enjoyed the game, mm -hmm. but we're willing to get rid of it because of the money and time yeah. commitment. So, yeah. So this was this was interesting. There were some surprises on, on this list for me. So it looks like we only had one match. One, one real match. And it was the one that... I mean, and that was a given. So, anyways, do you, do you find this... This type of video interesting it's not our top 10 games of all time because we haven't included in games that we played that we haven't talked about yet i am uh, itching so much to review my very favorite game yeah so so we're going to be reviewing more and coming back to it and you'll be able to see how our list changes as the pool of games in our uh, selection get bigger which ones drop off completely which ones move down some may move up so uh you know, keep keep watching, subscribe, and uh, probably another twenty or so games. We'll we'll tackle this. this That'll again. be interesting. So yeah. That'll be interesting. So yeah, we've got a few more plays of of games to do before we're ready to do reviews on them. So in the meantime, you might see some painting videos coming in while we're getting back to playing games. So. My recovery is going well, kind of feeling a little bit better to sit at the table, not for extended periods of time, but enough to play a game or two. So hopefully we can get some more plays in to start getting back to, to doing what we're doing. Yep. So thank you for joining us on our journey through our game collection, and we'll see you later. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I got games piled up. You got games piled all around you.